Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you how to find the measure of angle A. So let's inspect what we have here. Uh, it's not a right triangle. It doesn't look like a right triangle. There isn't a right angle, so it's not a right triangle. Uh, but we have the 75, and we have the side that is opposite to it. And we're trying to figure out what the measure, M stands for measure, of angle A using the side that is opposite to that. Hmm, what does that sound like? Yeah, when you have an angle and it's opposite side, and you have an angle and it's opposite side, you use the law of sines. Okay, so if you guys um, watched the previous video on the law of sines, you just use it. It's angle, opposite side, angle, opposite side. So here, here's this, the angle Q with its opposite side, angle R, opposite side, same thing. We could substitute these letters with these variables and these numbers here. And so let's just do that. The only difference with this one, um, with the previous video, is that this time we're gonna use uh, the law of science to find an angle. And if you remember, um, we're going to, um, when we're finding angles, we're not just going to use regular sign, we're going to use the inverse sign. So, there's a spoiler. So, let's just plug this in and let's let's work at it. So, um, we're going to write the sign of, what do we have here? Uh, we, we have the sign of, we're trying to find angle A. So, let's put A over here, over its opposite side, which is 12, equals the sign of, 75 degrees over its opposite side, which is 13. Okay, so easy peasy. So angle, opposite side, angle, opposite side. Get the signs of that. And we're going to cross multiply. Uh, let's write 13 times the sine of A is equal to the to 12 times the sine of 75. Okay, so our goal is to get A by itself. So this 13 is multiplying sine of A, so opposite of multiplication is division. And cancel that out. So we have the sine of A is equal to 12 sine of 75 over 13. All right, so let's look at what we have here. A isn't by itself, so that's not our final answer. And so what? in order to get A by itself, we have to get rid of the sign. This is, sign, well, this is the sign of A. The opposite of sign is the inverse sign. So here's the tricky part. The big difference is uh, when we're trying to find an angle, we use inverse. Not regular sign, but inverse sign. So we're going to take... So we're going to just write the A, and we're going to take this entire side right here and surround it by the inverse sign. So sine to the negative 1. Remember, that means inverse sine. And we're going to draw big parentheses and put 12 times the sine of 75 over 13. So... To make this sign to get a by itself, we're going to make this sign and turn it to an inverse sign for the other side. And so we took this entire thing and surrounded it by inverse sign, and this would be our final answer. Okay, so let's get the numeric answer. And looking at this, let's let's make a prediction. Uh, the 75 degrees, um, and it's looking at 13, and 13 is greater than 12. So this angle, angle A, should be less than um, 75 because its opposite side is smaller than 75's opposite side. That's my prediction. So let's use our calculators. Let's grab our calculators. Now, the toughest part uh, for this right here is typing it all into our calculator. So make sure your calculator is in degrees and it looks like mine is in degrees and let's type this in so let's press second sign to to access um, the inverse sign and let's type it in 12 times the sign actually let's put a second another parentheses here 
and let's put 12 times sine of 75 and let's close that parentheses and close that parentheses so we have one we have one two three we have one two on this side the reason why I put that parentheses there okay because I want to put a division I want to divide uh, this part right here okay 12 times sine of 75 Okay, and I want to divide that, so two parentheses here, two parentheses here, divide that by 13, and close that. So we have three left parentheses, right, three right parentheses, so it should be even, and no error. And we have 63 degrees, and yeah, that is less than the 75 degrees, so A is equal to 63 point and let's round to the nearest thousandth zero seven eight angle a the measure of angle a is about 63.078 degrees uh, so there's that um, now another way to do this is if your calculator has one of these cool features um, the division, the fraction feature, where you can just type it in, uh, use that. Use use the features on your calculator. So we have that, and type it in like that. And 12 sine of 75, close parentheses, over 13. And let's close that parentheses out. And we should get the same answer. Okay. All right, now. If you don't have a calculator with multiple lines like that, it's a little trickier. So let's grab uh, our cell phone and let's show you how to do that. All right, so again, make sure that you don't see anything up here uh, so that it doesn't say radians up there. It's, it's okay for it to say rad right there, but it doesn't say rad right there. Okay, now, in order to type this into our calculators, uh, we're going to work inside out. So first thing is we're going to find this value right here in the numerator. So I'm going to put 12 times 75. Oops. So make sure it says sign, not inverse sign. Sign. Okay. And then press equals. So this right here is just the value of 12 times sine of 75. We're going to take that value and divide it by 13 and we get that number. Now we want to get the inverse of this number so we're going to press second and make sure that the sign turns to inverse sign and there you go 63.078 so again work backwards let me just show you this again uh, 12 times 75 Make sure it says sign, not inverse sign, and then take, then press equals, okay, to get that value of the numerator. Take that, divide it by 13, press equals again, and then get the inverse sign of that, second sign, 63 degrees. All right, so hopefully that was in focus. If not, then I apologize. All right, so let's do another problem using inverse law of signs or the law of signs to find the angle the missing angle so this time uh, find the measure of angle C okay so let's see let's make sure that we can use law of signs for this we have we're trying to find angle C we have its opposite side we have this 89 degrees and we have its opposite side right there so let's just substitute that in to the law of sine. So sine of C over 28, sine of the angle over its opposite side is equal to the sine of the angle, which is 89 degrees, over its opposite side, which is 33. And then we're just going to cross multiply. 33 times the sine of C is equal to 28 times the sine of 89. We're going to divide both sides by 33. Opposite of multiplication is division. Cross that out. So we're left with a sine of C is equal to 28 
times the sine of 89 over 33. And our last step, we want to make c by itself or get c by itself. So we're going to take the sine and use the inverse of it to allow it to go to the other side, to allow c to be by itself. So inverse sine or sine to the negative 1 and 28 sine of 89 over 33. All right, now type that all up into your calculator. This would be the final answer. But let's get a non-weird looking answer. Uh, and I know that it's a little more challenging to use our phone calculators, so let's challenge ourselves. So 28 times 89. Make sure that it's regular sign, not inverse sign. We got that, and press equals to get the value of the numerator, which is 27.99. And we're going to divide it by 33. And there's that. Let's try to focus it. And then we're going to press second and inverse sign. And we have 58 degrees. All right, and that's our final answer. And I think it's correct because I'm looking at the answer. Um, the answer key and it says 58 point so a measure of angle C is about 58.033 all right law of sines to find an angle inverse law of sine so just remember, when you're trying to find an angle, use the inverse. When you're trying to find a side, use the regular one. All right, and last one, find the measure of angle C. We have this angle C. Hmm. So let's see if we can use the law of sides. We have all three sides. So the question is, which side do we use? Well, we're trying to find angle C, and we're going to use its opposite side don't say don't don't point it to the 58 point to the 10 okay and then we have hmm are we gonna use this 33 well we don't have the angle it's opposite angle so can we use this 29 yeah we have its opposite angle which is 58 and point it to that 29 all right, uh, yeah, press pause, put this in your notebooks, and, and try to work it out and try to beat me in, in, in getting it before I can. Um, so let's, and then unpause it. So here's how you set it up. Sine of C over 10, so the angle and its opposite side, which is 10, is equal to the angle that we're going to use, because we can't use angle B, we don't have the measure for that, but 58, so sine of 58 over its opposite side, which is 29. I'm going to cross multiply. 29 times the sine of C is equal to 10 times the sine of 58. We're going to divide both sides by 29. Cross that out and rewrite it. Sine of C is equal to 10 sine of 58 over 29 and we're not done yet uh, we want to get c by itself so we're going to take c we're going to take the sine and make it the inverse sine on the other side put a big parentheses and just copy this whole thing in there 10 times sine of 58 over 29 and we're going to go grab my phone calculator. Here's our answer. C is by itself. Well, let's find the actual measure of angle C using our phone calculator. All right, let's type some stuff in. Uh, so 10 times 58 sine. Press the equal sign, which is that, and divide it by 29 press the equal sign and then we're going to press second and then inverse which is 17 degrees 
So 17 points, zero, zero. And we're gonna round this up to bump it up to a four because this is a five. And there you go. And does it look correct? Well, 58 uh, and 29. And then this side is less than 29. So this angle should be less than 50 degrees. And yeah, it's 17 degrees. So there you go. We, it looks like we're correct, but hey, just for equal measure, I've seen some students with multiple calculators just in case one fails. So let's let's use this other calculator. Set, so second sine, and then let's use that feature. If you have it, 10 times sine of 58, and put a 29 over there, and close that off. And yeah, we got the same answer. 17.00351537. So there you go. That's how you use the law of sines or the inverse law of sines to find a missing angle in a triangle that isn't a right triangle. Okay, that's it. Have a great day.